Got the Bass Mafia bag filled with chatterbaits. And if there's one lure in this boat that I have exponentially more of this year, it's the chatterbait mini, this guy right here. I have like 15 to 20 of these in the boat, whereas last year I probably had three. It's been a super powerful tool when it comes to chatterbait fishing for me. But one of the things that, that I've run into question wise is what do you actually put on the back of it? It's a downsized, smaller chatterbait. And in all honesty, it fishes completely different than say your jackhammer, your chatterbait elite. It, it's a different thing. It's a different action. I personally think it fishes a lot more like a trap. And with that different action, with that sort of different presentation, it means you're gonna need a slightly different trailer than what you'd use on your standard chatterbaits, both size-wise and action-wise. And that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. Hit that like and subscribe button. Let's talk chatterbait mini max trailer. Uh, nice, let's put that one in there. So real quick before we get started with trailers, I have two main sizes of the Chatterbait Mini Max in my box. One is the half ounce, one is the 3 8 ounce. The thing that I tell everyone about with this is when you're looking at weights with these Chatterbaits, the 3 8 is closer to a standard half ounce chatterbait and the half ounce is closer to a five eighths or a three quarter. So always keep that in mind when you're shopping around and grabbing chatterbaits, especially this chatterbait mini max, they actually fish a little heavier than your standardized weights. So let's talk trailers. The number one trailer hands down for this guy is the Spunk Shed. It's a top seller on Tucker Warehouse. It's a great versatile bait. Guys are using it for hover rigs. They're using it like a fluke. It's a perfect fit in the 3.5 inch size for the Chatterbait Mini. I actually got one rigged up. This is one of my favorite colors. It's a bluegill color. But you can see this is a half ounce with it already on there. It provides the perfect, the tail's already doing it. That straight tail sort of, I don't know, shaking sort of vibrating motion is super natural. And it's great for ripping and fishing this chatterbait fast. As I mentioned, it fishes a lot more like a trap. So I really don't want anything slowing this thing down or inhibiting the action. You get the bulk, but at the same time, you get that sort of chattery, I don't know, extra little addition to the bait without actually inhibiting the action. And that's one of the most important parts about chatterbaits. The other ones are a little different, a little sneaky. I'm gonna go with a standard one first. If I do want to slow down either the action, the moving forward of this bait, or if I wanna slow down the fall when I actually kill this bait and kind of let her flutter down, I'll use a 2.8 inch Kitek. You know, your standard little boot tail swim bait um, has a very subtle action, can fish it super duper slow, extra greasy as usual, but a downsized little boot tail, you know, swim bait, your standard, you put like a, a three, 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 eight, a four, two on a standard size chatterbait. So pretty, pretty obvious knowledge, right? So some of the sneakier ones, and, and this comes from playing with some random baits. I like that straight tail presentation and Gambler just came out with the FFS series. So the forward facing series, um, these are made with a plastic that actually shows up better on forward facing sonar. This is like a little minnow. It's like a drop shot bait, right? But what's interesting is it shows up and fits perfectly on this Chatterbait Mini. So I'll grab, you know, my little chartreuse white half ounce and these have a smaller hook on them, probably like a, a two odd or a three odd. So it's perfect for this little, I don't know, it's like a two and a half inch bait. Um, and it's that perfect sort of minnow body, that straight tail kind of style minnow body. And check out how this thing looks, dude. Awesome little downsized minner looking presentation just out from the skirt, exactly where you want it. And also, like I said, the most important part does not inhibit the action, allows for that erratic sort of hunting kind of action and really moves quickly through the water. Doesn't slow that bait down. And the other one, is extra sneaky because it's not even out yet, dude. So this is kind of like a product reveal. So if you guys saw my videos a couple years ago, Gambler came out with the, the Komodo, which was kind of a, a bluegill sort of oval shaped straight tail chatterbait trailer. Pretty bulky, pretty big, perfect for your jackhammers, perfect for big fish kind of like applications and approaches. So I told Val, I'm like, dude, you need something downsized that goes on the chatterbait mini. So he's like, I got you, bro. So he came out with the, the Komodo Junior, a downsized kind of tiny mini Komodo, actually added some extra tails to it. So there's four tails or four appendages off the tail instead of three. Fits 
awesome on the, on the Chatterbait Mini Max. And what's really cool about it is I think one of the most important parts is having a, a sort of downsized connection with the tail, which then allows the tail to move extremely erratically. And that's exactly what this thing has. So you can see the segment that actually attaches to the tail. You get some bulk on the body with that beaver style, that rib style body, but then the tail is simply attached with that, that little sort of I don't know, plastic connector, that little arm, which allows full range of motion of that tail. And really what ends up happening is th that bill on the, on the chatterbait actually acts like a square bill. So it's dancing the bait back and forth and thus causing this tail to sort of erratically swim back and forth just like a bait fish. It is sick, dude, absolutely sick. I actually used it in um, one of the ABAs I fished on Lake Gunnersville to catch a few key limit fish. Um, really, and once again, the most important part about these, these trailers are they don't inhibit the chatterbait. That's one of my biggest pet peeves when it comes to chatterbait trailers. I don't want them to take away, slow down, or do anything to inhibit that action on the chatterbait. I only want them to add maybe like a swimming motion a bulking. So that's really the key when I'm picking a, a Chatterbait mini trailer. It needs to be downsized. I don't want it to inhibit that sort of erratic trap-like action that I'm getting out of that Chatterbait mini. And, and I really want it to dance. I really want it to follow after that Chatterbait and use that action that the Chatterbait already has and supplement it with a swimming action with that, that minnow style tail and really look natural and erratic in the water. So those are my picks. Go check them out. I'll put links to all this stuff down at Tackle Warehouse or at Monster Bass. You guys can check them out you need to try a chatterbait mini max it is a completely different bait even though it has the same name as a chatterbait it catches them and it catches bigs and especially going into fall and these periods when when these fish are really pelagic and focused on shad focused on minners it's a great sort of clone a great duplication of the bait they're actually keying in on hit that like and subscribe button we'll see you back out on the water talking fishing or doing some fishing tight lines homies